Hello, welcome back to module 10 of setting up a journal in OJS 3.3, Workflow Settings. Workflow settings allow you to configure all aspects of the editorial workflow, including file management, submission guidelines and requirements, peer review guidelines and deadlines, and email templates and notifications. This is one of our larger modules, and we've broken it into multiple units. This video is Unit 1, Components. Submissions to your journal may be comprised of multiple parts or components, such as the article text and related files. The Components section of the Workflow Settings is where you'll be able to manage what component types are supported by your journal and can be included with your submissions. Let's begin on our journal's website and access our dashboard through the top right corner. In the left navigation bar, let's go to Workflow Settings. Doing this will land on the Submission tab. You'll see that this page is also divided into five different tabs. In this unit, we'll focus only on the Components tab and come back to the others in later units. OJS has a default list of possible components preloaded into your dashboard, and these defaults can be restored at any time using the Restore Defaults button. If there are items in the list that are not relevant to your journal, you can click on the expansion arrow beside the item and either edit it or delete it. If you're in need of a component type that is not included in the default list, you can add it by clicking on Add a Component. The only required field for adding the new component type is the component name. Then, you can determine if these files are independent from other published content or if they will always be supplementary files. Now, we can select the type of metadata that this file will receive. The main publication files, such as the downloadable PDF, will get their metadata from the publication. So we'll choose Document. But we can also choose Artwork or Supplementary Content, if appropriate. You can also set a short identifier for this genre. When you're happy with your changes, you can click on Save and Continue. Once you have edited your components list to include only the components relevant to your journal submissions, you can use the Order button and reorder the list by dragging and dropping each component. The order is reflected on the submissions page, so it is best practice to place the most frequently used components near the top of the list for ease of access. When you're satisfied, you can click on Done. This concludes our overview of the components section of the workflow settings. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in the next unit.